Hey everybody, it's a windy early March day and I'm out here. I've been putting this off for a while. I've had the stuff to do it, but I'm just now getting to it today because uh, we need to put our plants in the ground, hopefully this weekend for our spring garden. So I've been waiting to amend our soil for, uh, for quite a while. And now I finally got some time to do it and I wanted to make a video so you guys can kind of see what we're doing and what the idea is behind it. Now, this isn't based on a whole lot of research or other things. It's just sort of what's worked for us the past few years and uh, maybe some things that we're, we're trying. Um, that's a little bit new like these worm castings I'm really really excited about but um, this is actually my first time to get into the garden in a while my wife's been holding the line and uh, just last week she took basically what what was in our compost bin what we've been working on for the past year and I was just turning just really really nice rich compost um, and spread that across the 500 square feet of garden that we had so that's our first layer our second layer going to be these worm castings um, that I got from a friend of mine in town and it was really cool he let me come in and show me his whole operation he's just getting started and uh, they are very enthusiastic about making worm castings and it was neat because it's a total science um, it's very meticulous it's a, it reminded me a lot of brewing beer you have to have very very uh, particular circumstances and and things at, at very uh, very set points to make sure that those worms are operating the way that they should so that was really neat and i'm excited for him to get going and i was just happy to be able to support a buddy who's who's uh doing his thing so that's cool um we've also got just some regular uh big box store grade soil for gardens and vegetables that's going to go on top of that it's going to cap all this off um, you could probably tell from the video, it's really, really windy here. So um, I want to add a little bit of volume because our garden has over the past year compacted down and it's settled to meet the terrain that was underneath of it. And so that makes for some challenges with watering because water follows gravity. So it's going to pull up, it's going to go downhill. And if it's not all level, um, your plants are going to suffer, either get over water or not get enough water and you're not being very efficient. So we're using that to level it out in a, a um, and just make this really optimal for this growing season. I think this uh, spring and summer and fall are just gonna blow whatever we did last year out of the water. So very, very excited. But uh, without further ado, I'm gonna get started on this, but I just wanna let you know, like this is a good time to get your, your garden amendments going. It's a lot easier to do it, um, to get all the weeds out and turn your garden and everything when there's not anything in there. So if you're getting your soil the same day that you're getting all your plants to put in the ground, you have a lot of work ahead of you, but I like to do it um, at least a week before, just so everything has time to kind of settle down and, uh, and, and get sort of established there. Um, because it does take soil a while to compress down and so it can kind of fool you sometimes. Oh, there's my guard dog. But anyway, she's saying I better get back to work before I get blown away here. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.